Okay, boys and girls, uh, I'm going to the shop to take care of client's car. Uh, she's in a hurry and I'm in a hurry, so we're gonna take care of the rust on this car in a different way. right way to do when you do it quick and it's the wrong way to do it the right way okay guys and girls the car is in the shop it's a Volvo S70 it has some rust issues and girls as you see this side has been repaired before you got filler you got rust under the filler I think that comes from this shit that was placed here this is a plastic guard plastic chip guard and I think that's what caused this because the chemicals from the uh, adhesive of this plastic film uh, got into the paint and cracked the paint and rust started. <laughs>
As you see there, we've got some pitted areas around here and a bit under here, up to here. But I think it goes under here. Uh, and we've got this to take care of. This is adhesive. I've got to take that away. I'm going to take some down here. And we're going to peel off what I need to take off. And we'll see where it ends. Hopefully, we'll fix this just with rust killer, a rust converter that converts rust to a primer. So <coughs> Now this upper part here is finished for treatment with a rust converter. Then I'm gonna uh, prime and use a filler to get this 
smooth because I got a dip here and I'm gonna use uh, fiber glass filler to take care of these. This is a high spot. This rusty area is a low spot. And this one is also a low spot here. So I'm gonna skim fill this with fiberglass filler to get the rust treated. But first we're gonna use rust converter to get the rust to die. You see, this is a rust converter in Sweden that I use, that I know will work. So, just gonna put that on with a brush and let it do its work. Okay, we're back again from our lunch break. Is this a familiar sight? Got some fiberglass filler on this. So, gonna grind that off. filler as you see that amount of hardener to the blob of fiberglass filler so let's mix this now you got one uniform color so you can start putting it on I've locked the rusty bits of metal in place with this uh, fiberglass filler. So after this, it's going to be a light sanding and use a normal filler to fill all the small holes and pinholes and shit like that and after that I'm gonna put the primer on and after that 
I'm gonna let that dry and wet sand that when it's dry then put the uh, metallic and clear on top of it. You see, got a little bit of a low spot here, so I'm gonna fill that with regular uh, filler or bondo or whatever you call it. You got a low spot here and a little bit of low spot there. And we got some pitting in this area. And that's it. After that, I'm gonna prime the sucker and let the primer harden. And then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do a wet sanding with uh, maybe 600 wet sanding and then um, I'm gonna shoot the son of a bitch. Hmm. This is how it looks before sanding. I just put it on so just a light sanding on this and it's ready for primer so hopefully it will be great when it's finished You might wonder what I'm using. This is what I've just put on. Plastic padding. PP100. That's medium or soft filler that's easy to sand. And this is what I've used before, plastic padding, glass fiber filler and that's a little bit harder to sand but it's waterproof and you get a nice seal from the elements with this one so now it's just waiting time to get this filler to cure then sand it and prime this car <laughs> 